That's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Max Talker TKW70. It's supposed to be a 10 watt radio, but we're going to find out if that's true and a lot more right after this. Items that come in the box, you get a wrist strap, business card with QR code to download to certain things, programming cable. Up here you have the belt clip, 2100 milliamp hour battery, a very thin owner's manual, the antenna, charging cable with attached 110 plug, and the tactical TED earpiece and microphone, as well as the radio. I'm gonna take a quick look around this radio. Starting with the left side, you have your push talk button. These two buttons here are not programmable. If you do a quick press on this top button, you'll get commercial FM stations. If you do a long press, you get an alarm. The bottom one, doesn't matter if you long press or short press, you're getting the monitor to open the squelch up. On the top, notice no flashlight, which is fine by me. You have your antenna, and your power volume control knob. On the right side, remove this screw and you'll be able to access the port for adding microphones and programming cables. However, this is not a typical Kenwood size. This is the narrow, I believe it's called a Motorola connector. On the back with the battery, you have your charging areas. They have this nice reinforced aluminum block here for the belt clip. It does not connect to the battery, which is always a good thing. On the front, you have your display screen. Now they're very proud that this is IP68 rated. Then you have your button for getting into the menu, out of the menu, scrolling up and down through the menu. And this menu is set up a little different than most Baofengs, and I'll show you that in a few. Then you have your usual 10 key. Now as for the menu, this is a whole whopping seven pages. Here's your table of contents. And it really doesn't tell you a whole lot. It does tell you what the different buttons and everything are. And it gives you these three things on how to do them. But then it just tells you what each menu, what's in each menu area. And that's it. At the time of filming this video, this radio is going for $59.99 on Amazon. It does have a 10% off coupon here. And one of the things they're saying is that this has a frequency range basically from 100 to 580 megahertz, which means you can operate it on UHF, VHF, FM, AM, the air bands, and GMRS. They're claiming it has a maximum talk range of 10 miles, but of course that's going to depend on your surroundings. They're saying it's IP68 waterproof, which means it can go one meter underwater for a half an hour. It has 199 memory channels. You can buy this in a two-pack. There's some more of its features. With, they say it's 10 watt. We'll see how that works. It has NOAA, Fox, 2100 milliamp hour battery. Has the monochrome LCD, which is nice and bright sunlight. Then we're going to take a peek at the menu. Enter the menu, and you see it's got these little icons. Like this one. What you have in here, work mode, step, power, squelch. Your bandwidth, whether it's wide or narrow. Timeout timer. Go to the next one is where you do CTCSS and DCS. This one is the channel. This is where you can store or delete a channel. This one is for setting up scanning. See how it's scanning away there. Your setting, set up the backlight. Your key if you want the beep, the language, and you have a choice of English, Chinese. Lock the keys, battery saver, offset, your repeater shift. Your double receive, Roger beeps. This one's for your Vox. This is for commercial FM radio and your weather. You can choose which one works best for your location. I 
And that is it for the menu. Now to switch between VFO and memory, what you want to do is with this red arrow here, press and hold. Now it's taking you into channel mode. Press and hold again. Now you're into VFO. And one more time, put you back into the regular memory mode where you have channel and tag name if needed. And I'm going to show you how to quickly input a simplex frequency into this radio. We're going to use the 2 meter calling frequency. Again, use the red arrow button to switch into VFO. And we've already got it in there, 146520. Now you can double check some of these just to make sure that you've got everything where you want it. Power on high. Make sure that the CTCSS is off. And for channel, we're going to store it. And we're going to store it in channel 2. Once you escape out, you'll see that it puts it back in memory. And there we are. Okay, now we're going to program a repeater into the radio. First thing you want to do, make sure you have the right frequency in there. And we are in frequency mode. We want 145220. And once you got that, go into the menu. We're going to go to CTCSS. Go down to Transmit. And then you're going to hit the star button, the asterisk up here. This is going to get you into there. If you hit it again, it'll give you the DCS. Then use the up and down arrows to go through and find the one you want. We want 103.5 and you can hold it down to get there faster. Once you're done, lock it in, exit out. And then you're gonna go up to the set menu Go down to offset, make sure you have 0.600 since this is two meter. And the shift, and we want the negative offset. And now we're gonna set it. And we want it in channel 15. And you can see we're set for channel 15. According to the company, this radio puts out 10 watts, and we're going to give that a try. Right here is the number you're going to want to pay attention to. These large numbers right here, that's just the SWR, and we're going through a dummy load. We're going to start with the top row here, the 2 meter national calling frequency, 146520. Then we'll switch down to 446. So we're going to try it out on high power and see how it works. Starting with two meter. And we're at about eight watts. Again, this is supposed to be a 10 watt radio, but not too bad. Now we're on 446.000. And we're at six watts. Not very close to the 10 watts. Now we're going to test the harmonics on this radio, make sure that it's actually legal to use in the U.S. I've got everything set up. We're going to use 146.520. Give it a sec to settle down. As you can see, number two and number three are not below the blue line. And while they are the required amount of dB below the primary, not being below that 16.02 is not helping it. What does that mean? That means this radio is not legal to transmit in the U.S. per the FCC. Max Talker just needs to clean up this radio a little bit to make it legal to transmit in the U.S. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good radio. There may be some issues with it being wide open like that. 
they're going to probably want to look into that as well. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.